so what we're, we're looking at here is a plant that is heterozygous for flower color and seed shape. They give us here that the dominant and recessive alleles are P for the color and R's for the seeds, whether they're round or wrinkled. So since they're telling us that the two plants are heterozygous, that clues us into what those parents' genotypes are gonna be. There's only two classifications, heterozygous or homozygous. Heterozygous is when the alleles are mixed. They're not purely capital, which is usually dominant, neither are they purely recessive, which is usually the lower case. So if they're telling us that the two plants are heterozygous, it must mean that at both alleles for flower color and seed shape, we must have a big P and a little p. I put the underline there just to not confuse it with the uppercase letter. And we must have a big R and a little r. This would give us a heterozygous at both alleles and both parents must be heterozygous. The genotype for parent one is gonna be big P, little p, and the genotype for parent two is gonna be big P, little p. And of course, big R, little r. So I'm sorry, let me say that one more time. Big P, little p, big R, little r for parent one, and for parent two, big P, little p, big R, little r. I hope that this helped. Thank you.